Right, year 10, I'm just going to go through the answer to this question. Now, in the exam, you might very well get asked to describe what a graph is showing you, or you'll get asked to pull information from the graph. And you have to be able to understand, firstly, what the graph is showing you, and secondly, be able to pull information from it that specifically tells you about a certain point. So, looking at the graph and describing it is quite simple. All you have to do is say what's happening at each point in the graph, and then a little bit as to why it's happening. And then throw in some values. So you might say that at 0 to 60 seconds, the reaction was happening quickly. And you would be correct, you would get some marks for that, and the examiner would be happy that you could pull information from the graph. Now, what I've asked you to do is describe your graph. So we're going to start off really simply. So the steeper the slope, the faster the rate of reaction. And this means that the rate of reaction is happening really fast here, because the slope is much steeper. Now, as we go into the ins and outs of the graph, I'm just going to explain a little bit about what the molecules are doing. So initially, the reaction is really fast. We're getting loads of products because we have a lot of reactants. If you imagine that there is a table in the middle of our canteen at school and there are loads of sandwiches on there and the children are really hungry. So you open the door, they all run in, they all start grabbing sandwiches and them eating the sandwiches is the product. They're happy, they're full. Now what is going to happen is that it's going to happen very quickly to start with because there's loads of sandwiches to have and there's loads of reactants at the start of a reaction for the, to produce product. Now as we go, the, the slope gradually becomes less steep because the rate of reaction is decreasing. The reactants have reacted and formed product and few molecules are available to react. So at first you've got loads of molecules and but gradually running about and batting into each other and creating product. But as we go through the reaction, we're using up the reactants and there's less product being made. And that makes the rate of reaction slower. Now here, all of the available reactants have formed product and the line is flat. The reaction has stopped or the reaction has slowed down. And in an exam, you could say between 80 and 120 seconds, the reaction had stopped or all of the product had formed, which is a better way of putting it. And this is obvious over time because you aren't getting an increase anymore in product. You're just getting a flat line here for another additional 60 seconds, 40 seconds. Now, this is how you would describe your graph and what you put in using the word decreasing, using the word increasing, using the word steeper and explaining about product and reactants. So if you look at the diagram I've just put up, you can see that at the start of the reaction, there's, there's loads of reactants. So you have your two types of reactants here and there's plenty of them to go around. As the reaction starts to happen, they start to form product. And over time, as we continue, more and more product is formed and less reactant is available to form the product. So we are getting a decrease in the speed of the reaction. Really fast here, really, really quick. But as we go and there's less reactants to actually have the reaction and there's more product, you are getting a slow rate of reaction. Now, hopefully this helped you a little bit. If you have any questions, please ask me, but also read around the subject. Have a look in your revision guides. Have a look at answering some of the questions in there, because that will also help you. If you want and you have time, I can give you more examples, but this is definitely something that I will be looking at again before you go into your exams. I hope you have a nice day. Yeah.